we had a production that was probably atypical in that the number of females actually outweighed the number of males as heads of department. Ego, the Michael Gudinski story, is a feature documentary on Michael Gudinski. Michael Gudinski had a wild ride of a career, starting Mushroom Records, revolutionising the Australian music industry, and just casually defying convention as he went along. <laughs> he just loved the music business, loved his job. He wasn't just a businessman, he was a fan. Michael effectively narrates his own story, and so being able to piece together a coherent story from the archive was a significant challenge. Oh, look, it was just fantastic. We had a ball, I mean, it was naive enthusiasm. It was a celebration of Australian music, and it really showed you could have a three-day music festival full of all sorts of great diversified Australian talent. Michael was able to forge really personal relationships with a lot of artists. So when we approached a number of these big stars to ask for an interview, they actually were so easy and accommodating. From Kylie Minogue, Bruce Springsteen, Ed Sheeran, Sting, Tim and Neil Finn. It was incredible. A lot of the key Australian artists just really opened up and shared their stories from Mark Seymour, Paul Kelly, Vicar and Linda Bull, Christine Arnoux, Dan Sultan. We just kind of had a, a smorgasbord of artists that were willing to share their stories and, and memories, which was incredible. Michael was always kicking up a storm until all hours of the morning. You know, he'd go to gigs and he'd be there for 10 minutes and he'd go to another gig. He, he was always on the move and part of his constant perpetual motion was he was always looking for something that somebody hasn't heard yet or something that hasn't been nailed down that he can, they can get his hands on. The most surprising revelation that I learnt about making this feature documentary on Michael was that he was actually incredibly quite shy. It's not a side of Michael that I had seen when I worked with him. It, seems contradictory to everything that he presented. And I wonder if in Michael's own way that was part of what music did for him. It was his way of connecting to people because he could be quite an awkward person and I think in some ways quite shy underneath it all. In the film, we use a lot of uh, animation or motion graphics to tell parts of the story. We worked with Kiki and Andreas from the Bureau of TV. I mean, they've done an incredible job. We wanted to create a sense of irreverence and, and fun. I mean, that was Michael. He was bold, he had a crazy sense of humour and he was always just happy to kind of be, like, poke the bear and be cheeky. So we kind of lent into that in terms of the aesthetic for the animations. Like when you see music charts, it's rather than just seeing a picture of a music chart, we could actually lean into maybe the metaphoric idea of the music charts. So thematically, this idea of climbing the mountains became quite an important motif in the film. I really hope that an audience can enjoy the ride, the wild ride of Michael Gudinski. I've always wanted, and I know the team as well, to really inspire people to believe in themselves and just understanding that you just gotta give something a, a go. Michael was a great risk taker. He really threw everything behind an idea that he believed in. And it is an incredible story and he leaves, it leaves an amazing legacy. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoys it.